Out of all the characters in Mortal Kombat, there are always characters that are guaranteed for a roster spot even if they have not been confirmed or hinted at by Ed Boon. So in today's video is going to be the top 5 characters that will be in Mortal Kombat 11. These are just my opinions and these are also not in a specific order like number 1 isn't going to be the character that stands the highest chance out of the whole Mortal Kombat X roster. And I will not be including Sub-Zero, Scorpion, Raiden, you know, all those characters that we all know are going to be in every MK game as of right now. And as you guys know, if you guys want to keep this series alive and you guys are enjoying these top 10s and top 5s, be sure to give this video a like and comment down below and let me know your guys' suggestions. Also, I'm not saying that Sub-Zero, Scorpion, and Raiden are not going to be in Mortal Kombat 11, but I'm just saying, you know, those are obvious ones. We already know they're going to be in MK11. Number 5 is going to be a tie between Tremor and Liu Kang. Now, I know you guys are going to be saying, you just finished saying, you know, the obvious ones are not going to be included in this list. I know that, and I am aware of that, but surprisingly, during the MKX hype days, I had to argue with so many people who said that Liu Kang is not going to be in this game. I'm like... How can you exclude Liu Kang from a roster? They did that once, and you know how much crap that game got for not including an iconic character like Liu Kang? You don't do that kind of stuff. Liu Kang is a staple to Mortal Kombat. And you guys can all agree on that. He's been in all Mortal Kombat games except for Mortal Kombat Deadly Alliance. And even then, he had a cameo in that game, so still. As for Tremor, I do think he's going to be in Mortal Kombat 11 due to the fact that I don't think they're going to make the same mistake they did with Scarlet because when she wasn't included in this game as main roster and I highly doubt she's going to be DLC due to what Ed Boon said about repeating DLC and all that, a lot of fans got mad mainly because they were saying why did you include Scarlet in MK9 if you're not going to introduce her in the next game. It makes no sense and that's kind of a waste of your time and that's kind of a waste of our time and kind of money as well because we paid for that character. And look how awesome Tremor is, I mean to the community, he's arguably the best in the combat pack. In my opinion, he is the best in the combat pack. Tied with Predator, if I had to pick one, it'd probably be Tremor. A lot of fans still don't like him, a lot of fans still hate him and all that and that's fine, that's what they think. I'm not gonna hate on them, it's just my take on Tremor and all that. But there you guys have it, I do think Tremor is going to be appearing in Mortal Kombat 11 as well as Liu Kang. Coming in at number 4, we have got Rain. Now one of my favorite characters of all time in my top 15, I used to not really care about him but when he was put into this game, this character was freaking awesome. His voice, the role he played in the story, he has a lot of potential but I don't think he's going to be in Mortal Kombat X as DLC. Which is why I think he'll be in Mortal Kombat 11. It was a very poor choice of Netherrealm not to put Rain in the main roster. They're pretty much in trouble now whether or not to deal with angry fans if he's not going to be included or as DLC in Mortal Kombat X or deal with criticism if they put him in as DLC because we're going to have to pay for the same DLC character again. Unless they put him out for free but I don't know the likelihood of that. I'm not going to be saying it's very possible and I'm not going to be saying it's very unlikely. We're just going to have to wait and see but I do see that happening. And look how heavily demanded Rain is for DLC in this game. So if they include him in Mortal Kombat 11, a lot of fans, a lot of those fans who have been demanding Rain are going to be happy of Rain's inclusion in this game. And I personally would be very happy because he is awesome to me now. Coming in at number 3, we have got Noob Saibot. My favorite character of all time, tied with Liu Kang, is definitely going to make the Mortal Kombat 11 roster. At least in my eyes, in my opinion. Because if you think about it and you do your research, he has been in all Mortal Kombat games. Bihan slash Noob Saibot, I should say, has been in all Mortal Kombat games. And I think the reasoning behind that is because he is an original character. He used to be the icon of Mortal Kombat. Now he's dead, but he's come back as a revenant. And he's one of the most popular characters in Mortal Kombat in the top 10, definitely, no doubt about that. Also, an unexplained mystery of Noob Saibot is how the heck did he escape from the Solnado? Because I know he's not dead, but where did he go? Where has he been all this time? We have no official answer, and I think Mortal Kombat 11 is the perfect game. They could do it in this game, but I think Mortal Kombat 11 is perfect. Coming in at number 2, we have got Fujin. Now, Fujin is one of those characters that everyone thought was going to be in the main roster for Mortal Kombat X. And then when the full roster was shown, everyone was like, where is Fujin? And everyone was all trying to like decrypt stuff and say like the question mark, the random select is the secret character. And that's how you unlock Fujin and stuff. People looked all over the crypt and Fujin is not even in the freaking game. And everyone was so freaking pissed. 
And so was I. I was like, why the heck did you not include this character in the game? We want him back so badly, and you're not giving it to us. Now, obviously, they're going to give it to us in Mortal Kombat X as DLC in the Combat Pack 2, but Fujin definitely deserves a roster spot, or a main roster spot, I should say. And with Raiden turning dark, Fujin could be the new hero or the new protector of Earthrealm in Mortal Kombat 11. I'm not going to confirm anything, but we're just going to have to wait and see. Coming in at number one, we have got Shang Tsung. Now, in my opinion, this guy has a guaranteed roster spot in Mortal Kombat 11. Due to how many references there are for Shang Tsung, there are so many cameos of him in character endings. Netherrealm is making it so obvious that they're going to bring back Shang Tsung for Mortal Kombat 11. And we don't even know what the heck happened to Shang Tsung. I mean, seriously, his soul was put into Sindel. And with Sindel being a revenant, where the heck did Shang Tsung's soul go? What did Quan Chi do to Shang Tsung? We don't don't know yet and I think we're gonna get an answer in Mortal Kombat 11 because we sure don't have an answer in this game so it'd be perfect to answer it in the next one plus with Quan Chi being dead and killed by Scorpion don't you think another sorcerer is gonna come and replace Quan Chi aka Shang Tsung so who do you guys think have a guaranteed main roster spot in Mortal Kombat 11 leave your thoughts and opinions down in the comment section below and let me know I am very interested Anyways, I would appreciate a thumbs up on this video if you guys enjoyed today's top 5, and possibly subscribe to get all things Mortal Kombat X. My Twitter and social media sites will be down in the description below. But anyways, let me know what you guys think. My name is Bruce Productions, and I'm out for now.